Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to church today. My name is Fumi Kola Okewo. Uh, I will be talking to us today on the topic titled Resetting Your Priorities. Resetting Your Priorities. I am grateful to God for this opportunity to be able to be a blessing to the church of God. I do not take it for granted at all. I am really, really grateful. Shall we just pray, please? Our righteous Father, we thank you. We love you. Thank you because your love for us is so great. And we are grateful that you really want us to come close to you. You really want to be the top of our priorities. Father, I pray that by reason of this message today, you will help every one of us, including myself, to be able to reset our priorities, to be able to do what is needful so that you will be pleased with us the more and that your name will be glorified. I pray that, Lord, you make my tongue like the pen of a ready writer, that I will speak fluently according to your will, that your name will be glorified. Thank you, precious Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. So, like I said, I'll be talking to us this morning on resetting your priorities. From that topic, resetting your priorities. The three words there are so crucial. Why do you need to reset? That means there was already a set, meaning that something was already in place or in position. So, but now you need to reset. Reset means to do that thing that was already positioned differently from what it was before. And when you talk of your, it means it is your one, your priorities, your personal priorities. What are your priorities? And we, what do we mean by priorities? That we are talking about the fact or condition of being regarded or being treated as more important than others. That is something coming before others. So what are your priorities? What are your preferences? What 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 are they what what comes first in your heart that is your priority and then you want to ask yourself why do i need to reset my priorities different reasons could you know we may have different reasons why we need to reset our priorities it could be that the initial set the initial set of your priorities were done out of your consent you were not informed or you just took well you just found yourself in that situation and you just just began to live with it. Or you may you may you might have noticed a fault in that previous priority. So you want to reset it, or you are struggling to cope with that particular priority, or you feel drained. If you feel drained and you are not you are not really, really uh, enjoying the way you had set your priorities, you might need to reset your priorities, or maybe. You are not getting the expected result from it. So you will need to reset your priorities or you find out that you are not as productive as you would have loved to be. You feel underutilized, you know, in that situation or you feel that you are not getting the expected result that you would have wanted to get. So you might need to reset your priorities in such a situation. And the scripture I'm going to be using this morning is, is from the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6, which says, seek the Lord why he may be found. Call on him while he is near. That scripture is loaded. And the reason why I said it's loaded is because the, when the Bible says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, then you want to ask me, the next question is, when can God be found? I want to let you know that now is the time that God can be found. Now is the time that you need to seek the Lord. There is no better time than now, as you are listening to me, that you will need to seek the Lord. And seeking the Lord should come, you know, on top of all our priorities. That is the essence of this message this morning. As much as I know that so many things are calling for our attention, 
attention, we need to set our priorities and reset it accordingly so that we will not just put God on the back burner of our lives. God is, God is desiring that we will seek him with all our heart. He is desiring that we will love him with all our heart because we are created for his pleasure. And when life comes, when life comes in diverse ways as it would to every one of us, we may find ourselves struggling to put God where he should be. And that is the essence of this message today. I'm going to be talking to Ross about a woman who chose to reset her priorities in life. And that woman is the woman called Hannah. But before I go to that message, let me quickly share and share with you something that happened to me some years ago. I remember when I first came to England, which was about 17 years ago, I had a lot that I needed to cope with. I had three young children to look after. I had master's degree to finish. I had to do a um, 20 hour job a week. And I had so many things that I needed to do. I needed to build myself up spiritually. I was not coping very well. And when it got to a point that... I now had to choose between this and that and between this and that. I realized that I needed to reset my priorities. And what brought me to the point of resetting my priorities was one time when the person that I had um, asked to be picking my, 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 my children from school, when she slept off a couple of times and they, and they, 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 they had to someone me to a meeting in the head teacher's office. Now, don't get me wrong. I was paying this person to be picking my children from school so that I could concentrate on what I was doing. And I was paying through my nose. I didn't have a lot of money that time, but I was paying through my nose and I wanted, uh, because I really needed to complete my master's degree that time. So, and all of a sudden, I realized that this person kept on oversleeping. She would not go and pick the children on time. So they summoned me to a meeting and they told me that they were going to involve the social services if, if that happened, if that, if that issue was repeated. So, and then I realized that I needed to reset my priorities because I didn't want them to take my children away from me. I wanted to finish my master's degree. I needed to work so that I can have money to pay my bills. And I needed to build myself up spiritually so that I will not go dry. And so many things were happening to me all at the same time. And this was a time that my husband was not in the country. I was here with my three children and it was really tough. But you know what? God helped me. I, so I decided to seek the face of the Lord and God helped me to seek his face and he, he gave me the direction. I reset my priorities. I decided to re relieve myself of certain things and then I focused on what was more important. Now in life, there will be important things. There will be very important things. There will be urgent things and there will be immediate things. We need to understand how to prioritize so that we'll be able to know how to get the best result out of this one life that we have. Don't forget that you've got only one life and you must maximize it. You must make the best use of it. The woman I want to talk about today is Hannah. Hannah was a woman who had a husband called Elkanah in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. This woman had a husband that obviously they loved each other and from all indications and from reading that scripture, it shows that Elkanah truly, truly loved Anna. But because of Anna's inability to have a child, Elkanah decided to marry another woman. So he married Penina. On marrying Penina, trouble began in that home. The home that used to be so peaceful, the home that used to be so quiet and loving, everything was going accordingly until Penina came in. Penina came in not realizing that she had actually stolen, and I'm using that word deliberately. She stole somebody else's husband and she didn't even have enough respect for the woman whose husband was stolen and then she was still harassing the woman. She was still making life difficult for the woman. The Bible says she provoked her soul. In other words, she provoked her to the point that there were scars in her heart. She provoked her to the point that this woman became so frustrated and miserable and she was doing it on purpose. All because she could have children and Anna could not have children. So this woman Anna would be willing, Anna would be weeping and she would be crying and she was frustrated most of the time. And then it got to a point 
that Elkanah realized that Anna was no longer happy. So he, he, he went to her and he was saying, Hannah, why are you crying? I am not better to you than 10 sons. Each time I've read this passage, I have wondered, Elkanah, why would you tell me that I'm better to you than 10 sons? And you still went ahead to marry Penina? No, I disagree with you, Elkanah. If I was better to you than 10 sons, then you will have waited for me to the point of being able to conceive in my own womb and not go and marry Penina that will come and torture my life, that will come and make my life miserable. But you've done it anyway. You've done it. So what else can I do? You've made your, you've made your decision. It's fine. So now, instead of crying every day, instead of being miserable, instead of just getting angry and being frustrated, Anna decided to reset her priority. How did she reset her priority? Instead of attending or, or, or just call, talking, talking, talking all the time, she decided to reset her priority. She went to the Lord. The Bible says she went to seek the face of the Lord. After they had eaten, it, they usually go to Shiloh every year. And then after they had eaten and they had finished drinking, she decided to change her priority. She was no longer waiting on human being to give her children because she realized that it was only God that could do it for her. And that is very, very crucial. Reset your priorities to the point that everything you are desiring can be handled by the Lord and he will handle them. He may not handle them the way you want him to handle them. He may not give you the time you want him to give you, but you can be sure that God so much love you that whatever it is that is bothering your heart, you can take it before the Lord. And Hannah took this case before the Lord. She sat before the Lord. She was praying with all her heart. She was praying passionately. She was so concerned about not having a child and she really wanted to have a child. But you know what? One thing that really, really showed me that Hannah reset her priorities accordingly was that she was not seeking to have a child to show Penina that look Penina I also can have a child if you can have a child I can have a child too no that was not her priority it got to a point that Anna had already reset her priorities and she went before the Lord she said to the Lord God if only you can give me a son I will dedicate him to you and I will make sure that no razor comes upon his head all the days of his life. And he's going to serve you all the days of his life. Now, that was it. That was a woman that knew how to negotiate with God. At that particular point, God was seeking desperately for a prophet because Eli's, Eli's time had, you know, had expired. Eli's, Eli's time as the, as, as, as the chief priest in Israel had expired and it was just marking time as a result of, you know, the way his children, Ophnin and Phineas, as a result of the way they were misbehaving and causing trouble in, 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 in the country. So God was just waiting for another prophet to be raised. And this woman, because she was able to go before the Lord, she was able to read the mind of God. And she said to the Lord, I will give this child to you if you will give him to me. Give me this child. Let me conceive this child in my womb. And I will make sure that this child is totally sold out to you, totally dedicated to you. And that was exactly what Hannah did. Hannah decided to change her priorities. She was not seeking to have a child to show Penina that she took could have a child. She was seeking to have a child that would serve the Lord. And that was it. God was looking for a prophet. Hannah was looking for a son. So, so they negotiated. That was a great negotiation. And the moment she made that covenant with God, that was it. God just stamped it and that was it. Hannah sat before the Lord. Hannah wept before the Lord. Hannah poured out her heart before the Lord. Hannah decided to reset her priorities. And the moment she did that, God attended to her. And God gave her the child that she desperately needed. And she was able to stand by her covenant with God. She was able to stand with her promise to God. I don't know where you are at the, any, at the point of your 
your life, at this point in your life, where are you? Do you have your priorities in place? Are your priorities clashing with, your, with each other? What is it that you are desiring to do? God can help you. If only you can seek his face. If only you can spend time with him. If only you can understand that he is desiring to have that time with you. He is desiring for you to have that time with him. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face and pray. He said, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. There is a land in you. There is a land around you. There is a land you are supposed to operate in. And God is out to help you. God is out to help you and enable you so that your land is healed and your land is properly done according to the mind of God. Today, I want to pray with you that the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Sikeno, Jehovah Shalom, will come into your life. We come into your situation. We come and help you so that your life is sorted and everything concerning you will be according to the mind of God. That no matter thing, the things that are seeking and calling for your attention, you will be able to prioritize your, 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 your life and put everything in place. May the Lord God of us help us. When I decided to prioritize my life, when I decided to prioritize between my studies, my children, and uh, my everything, things began to work accordingly. Not immediately, but gradually. Gradually, gradually, gradually. I realized that I wanted to give my children the priority. I decided that I wasn't going to do a lot of work. I didn't have a lot of money that time, but I decided to make do with what I had, and that was it. So I don't know about you, but I want to ask you to set your priorities and reset them. Reset them, whatever your priorities were before, and they are not working accordingly. Accordingly. Please reset them and may the Lord God of heaven help us in Jesus' name. Amen.